Let's talk about safety for a second. When with the physical therapist or at home doing your exercises, safety should be the number one priority. Of course, we want you to be able to be as functionally independent with your prosthesis as possible so you walk better, but always remember, safety is the number one thing. For the back extension strengthening exercise, lie comfortably on your stomach. Move your hands to the side. Raise both your upper body and your legs at the same time. Hold for a few seconds, then relax. Breathe throughout the exercise. This exercise is called bridging. Begin by lying on the floor with your knees bent. Push off the floor with your sound leg until your waist is straight. Slowly raise your residual limb until it is parallel with your other leg. Hold the position for 10 seconds, then relax. Here's the proper way to do a basic crunch. Lie on your back with your knees bent and cross your arms over your chest. Raise your upper body by contracting the upper abdominal muscles. Hold this for about 5 seconds, then relax. Remember to breathe throughout the exercise. Dynamic sidestepping allows you to gain control of your hip abductors and adductors. Those are the muscles on the inside and outside of your leg. From a standing balance position, take several steps in one direction, then the other. You may need to start with your hands on a countertop for safety, but work towards sidestepping without assistance. The dynamic sitting balance exercise will help with your overall balance, both sitting and standing. For this exercise, you'll need a baton or similar object. Begin in an upright seated position. Grasp the baton with your hands about shoulder width apart and raise your arms in front of you. Twist your torso from side to side at a moderate speed. Focus on maintaining balance and control. This is a dynamic standing balance exercise. For safety, you'll need two high-backed chairs. Position the chairs, one on each side, with the chair backs facing you. Place your feet shoulder width apart. You'll be distributing your weight from side to side. Start with the majority of your weight on one side. Then, shift your weight to the opposite side. Continue to shift your weight from side to side. When you feel stable, you can do this exercise with your hands at your sides, but keep the chairs next to you just in case. For the next part of the exercise, place your hands back on the chairs. Keeping your feet in the same position as before, distribute your weight forward and backward. You'll begin with a majority of the weight on your toes. Then, shift the weight to your heels. Keep moving from front to back. When you feel stable, you can take your hands off the chairs. In the final part of this exercise, you'll be moving diagonally. Again, hold the chairs for safety. Start with your weight on the toes of your right foot. Shift your weight to the heel of your left foot. You'll do several repetitions this way, then switch. Shift from the toes of your left foot to the heel of your right. Do several repetitions this way, too. As before, lift your hands from the chairs when you feel stable.
One thing I want to mention concerning your residual limb. Every day, if you will massage that limb either with your hands or a towel, it will keep your soft tissue from adhering to your bony tissue. In the end, you should have decreased pain and you'll walk better. For the hip abduction exercise, you'll begin in a seated position. Place a resistance band around your legs like this. Move your thighs outward and away from each other. You should feel the muscles on the outside of each thigh working. Make sure to extend through the full range of motion. When returning to your starting position, move slowly to keep resistance on the muscles. This exercise will strengthen your hip abductor muscles. Move into position by lying on one side. The leg closest to the ground is the one you'll be working. Place a rolled towel between the knee of this leg and the ground. Rest your other leg on a footstool. Push down into the towel and lift your pelvis upward. Hold each repetition for around 10 seconds. This exercise is for hip adductor strengthening. Lie on your side and place a footstool over one leg. Rest your other leg on top of the stool. Press down into the stool and lift your pelvis upward by contracting the muscles on the inside of your thigh. Hold this position for about 10 seconds, then relax. This exercise will strengthen your hip extensor muscles. Lie comfortably on your back with both legs straight. Place a rolled towel underneath one knee. Push down into the towel and lift the corresponding hip into the air. Hold this position for 10 seconds and relax. This is a hip flexor strengthening exercise. You'll begin by lying on your stomach. Place a rolled towel underneath your leg, just above the knee. Push down into the towel, bringing your pelvis up. Hold this position for about 10 seconds and then relax. Rest for around 5 seconds between repetitions. For the knee extensor strengthening exercise, lie comfortably on your stomach. Place a rolled towel between your upper shin and the ground. Also, place a pillow or folded sheet against the front of your thigh on the same leg. Push down into the towel. Contract your quadriceps and allow your leg to straighten at the knee. This exercise will help strengthen and improve knee flexion. Lie on your back and place a rolled towel underneath one knee. Flex your knee into the towel. You'll be contracting your hamstrings. Hold each repetition for 10 seconds.